guys. What's up? I'm sick of people. By people, I mean bugs. I work in my basement and we have all kinds of ugly freaking beeps. House centipedes, which are my number one arch nemesis. And now I just found a cricket. So I had to vacuum him up because I'm quite disturbed. One time I had a beetle fall on me while I was crafting. That made me want to kill myself. Anyway, I want to show you guys because Kim, hey girl, hi, she wants me to show you guys how I sew my paper. So I thought that's a good idea. So I'm going to do that. So I just have a little sewing machine, literally nothing fancy. I'm going to show you how I do my crepe paper. I'm going to show you how I make my ribbon. And then I will show you how I do some paper. Don't mind the, so, uh, the freaking washing machine over there. So there's that. Let me show you. I got these the other, well, yeah, yesterday. Oh, yeah, my lens. Aren't those cute? And I'm going to use my garment pins to hang those. Those are from Allie. And then this girl, she's a little clear stamp. It's almost that time of the year. I walked outside to get her. See what was in the mail. And it was getting chilly. So, okay. Let's see. I got a cat here in my mouth. Okay. I just want to see, like, what options I have as far as what I want to use make so I have these two. Oh boy we got a buddy we got a buddy and he is going to I think that would be pretty together see he's a brat and he's no good he never eats the bugs for me he lets them kill me I think that's kind of pretty or I mean you can mix and match too you could do like crepe paper with ribbon. It doesn't matter. Sorry guys. That's too much. So I'm gonna stick with... He's such a brat. I'm gonna stick with I think that maybe? Yeah that looks fine. Okay. I just dropped a roll. Ooh, I don't know if you just saw my weird face. I just woke up. Not too long ago. Okay. Sure. Usually when I see something that's frayed, what I do is I always take my lighter and just, you guys couldn't see that. Hold on. Aha. I don't usually do it on ones like this, but definitely like, I think this is like a polyester or something. And there is a uh, wire in those. Anyway, he's watching from on top of the dryer. Can you still see that? I hope so. Okay. And it just depends. Like, I think it's. Did I really just paint my nails and they broke? Oh, chipped. I think it's easier to fold, like, to the sewing machine when I sew. That's just me. But you don't have to. You can do it away from the sewing machine. So it just depends on how you get it started. Oh my goodness. And it doesn't have to be perfect. And I have like a cut under my fingernail. It like hurts like you know what. I don't, I don't know. I think it was dry or something. And once you get it going. Man, do I like these colors together? Not really. I'm gonna switch because I'm a brat. 
I don't want that one. Five minutes in, I have no idea what I'm doing still. Yay. Ah! Okay. This is a failed tutorial. I think I like that better. I just unwind it. It doesn't matter. There's no rhyme or reason to anything. And he sees spools of thread or yarn, so or whatever the heck this is. And now he thinks it's his. Okay. There we go. Watch out, buddy. Start it. And so and then you get to a point and then you do that. You get to a point and you do it again. And you just keep going. Nothing fancy, nothing hard, like at all. And I love the look. And then it can be more than just um, one color, of course. These are so much brighter on my end. Hopefully I can make it brighter in editing. So you just do that, and then you can make it however long, however short you want it. So I'm going to cut it. Some scissors that I don't have ready. Thank you, buddy. He left. He was like, forget this crap. I'm out. And that has a wire, so be cautious of that because you don't want to ruin your good paper scissors. And there you go. There it is. Cool, huh? And then since this one has wire, you can manipulate it. So there's that. I wonder if I can get a light shining on this subject. Probably didn't help, did it? I can't reach that one. I don't know, maybe. Okay, let me show you crepe paper. Super easy too. And you could do crepe paper with ribbon, I've done three before, and I just line it up and do the same thing. You could put your branding strips. Do I have any? Yeah, I do. You could put your branding strips that you don't like or, you know, whatever from your paper packs and fold it in. I mean, it's so easy. And then you, it just gives you an option to dress things up, to make ribbon, to combine your ribbons. Hope I'm not shaking. Oh, yeah. I'm not a professional, if you guys notice. And then see? That, and then I just cut it. Of course, like, I could cut that off, you know. Cool, right? And then, I will just show you, like, we'll do this one. And that's easy, too. You just follow the line. Pick up your foot. Pick up your foot, and I'm never perfect on this stuff. And I think it kind of gives it like a a certain something, you know. And then you're done. I love sewing. I love gold thread. The gold thread I use is from Walmart, and it is like coats and whatever they call it. I always have to tear my labels off because um, my way my bobbin, whatever it is, my spool. Um. Oh, let me show you this. I just figured this out. 
So to make a rosette, I don't know if you guys know, I do 12 inches. So let me do that. So here's 12 inches, okay? And then fold it like this, and like this, and like this. So then I guide it like however, like, I take a little bit off and then that's the width of the rosette. I take a little, you know, so let's say I do that. And then what I do, you see, okay. So I'm gonna use my outer edge. I'm just gonna sew on the outer edge, nothing perfect. Nothing fancy. Cut it. Okay. Here's my little tiny attacher I got from, what's it called, Tuesday morning? Okay. You want your sewn edge, oh my, on the outside. And it took me so long to do a rosette. I had no idea. I don't remember who I watched that I finally clicked. I tried everybody's and my hands weren't working and it took me forever. And I'm not saying my rosettes are perfect, beautiful, wonderful. I am not because I don't find that they are. But you just do this. And how cool is that? I hope I'm showing you where you understand. And then we go through both sides. And there it is. See, nothing fancy. Okay, I think that's it. So we have the paper, the weird rosette, because that part is sticking up. Maybe it's because of the thread. There we go. We have our crepe paper with a branding strip. And you can do tons of paper, tons of crepe paper. You can mix and match anything. And then we have our ribbon and ribbon. So. I hope that helped. I hope you liked it. It's nothing new and innovative. I love making my ribbon though, you guys. I don't know why. And I love making my crepe paper ribbon. It just makes me so flipping happy. And I love these dollar, like this big right here. This is a dollar at Walmart. I think it's gorgeous. I think it's super Maggie Holmes. And a lot of these glitters are actually Christmas. Dollar Tree or something. So let me know what you think. You could use Rick Rack. You could use anything. I mean, next I'm just going to have to see, oh, can I make tool ribbon? I'm sure I could. And I'm sure I'm going to have to soon. So when I do, I'll let you know. But thank you guys so much for watching. Kim, I made it for you. I hope you like it. Hope it helps. Um, I'm nothing special. It's been done a thousand times. I just want to show you guys how I do it and maybe that helps you and give you a little insight into what I like to do and how pretty does all this look right here oh my okay bye